Hello, this is Heather from Twist My Stitch. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to work the beautiful four stitch eye cord you could use in any application. I am using it as an applique for my Awareness and Hope headband um, fashioned in an awareness ribbon. So, and I will put a link to the pattern for that Awareness and Hope uh, headband in the comments below. Um, Today you're gonna to need some yarn, two double pointed needles, crochet hook, tapestry needle, and some scissors. All right, so I'm gonna show you two different methods to cast off, one using a darning needle and one using a crochet hook. So we're gonna go ahead and get started using the double pointed needles. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all of these other items out of our way. All right, so I am doing the long tail cast on and I prefer just to not uh, do a slip knot in my work. I just take the yarn and twist like so to give me a nice looking like a slip knot, but it's not actually a slip knot. I cast on three more stitches because I need a total of four stitches. You can use any cast on method here. You do not need to use the long tail cast on method. You can use whatever method you're most comfortable with. Now the eye cord is knit in rounds essentially, but I am using a double pointed needle today. In order to work this in the round, I need to slide the stitches over to the other side of the needle. Um, if you knit it back and forth, it would give it a different look. It wouldn't actually end up being a cord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take and slide all of these stitches to the right end of my left hand needle. Technically, that's my right hand needle. But now I'm gonna switch it to my left hand and it becomes my left hand needle. So now I'm gonna take this working yarn that's on the left stitch here and bring it all the way around and work across this way as normal. Only difference being is the, work, the working yarn is coming from this very left stitch here and then I am going to be working it back across. work it as normal. Okay, now my stitches are on um, the left end of my right needle, I need to slide them down to where they are on the right end of that left needle. And I'm gonna just continue this process until my eye cord reaches um, about six and a half, seven and a half inches, or until it's the length that I like the eye cord to be for the purpose that I am using. Across the back of the work, it looks sloppy right now when you first get the first four stitches, but as you get, uh, four rows I should say, um, as you get it to be a little bit longer, you can really see the work coming out and you pull the work down and it starts to come together and you see those stitches on the back looking more like V's instead of 
just strands across the back. I'm just going to work a few more rows and then I'll show you the two different bind off methods. Okay, now you can see that really coming around, looking nice. This will be my last row that I'll work and then I'll work the cast off. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here and work the cast off. All right. So we've got a nice looking eye cord. Looks nice all the way around on all sides. Um, so we're going to do cast off method one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slide these uh, stitches off of this needle and onto a crochet hook. Just take and slide them off carefully, not losing any stitches. Now we're ready to cast those stitches off. So simply just yarn over, pull through all four, yarn over, and pull up the loop. Then we're going to take and pull the yarn through and leave a long tail so that we can weave our eye cord to our working yarn. There you go. You have the eye cord. Okay, now we're going to do our cast off with the darning needle. We're going to take and cut a nice long tail that we're going to use to attach our eye cord applique to our uh, project. Just going to simply thread that through our darning needle and take your stitches that you have on your needle and thread them onto the darning needle. Simply pull the, the yarn through all four of those stitches and leave a little loop here. Take your darning needle back through that loop and pull it nice and tight. And there you have two different ways of working the bind off and they both look essentially the same. This is the cast on edge and this is the bind off edge cast on edge, bind off edge. Okay, all right, there you go. Happy knitting.